Hello everyone. Now that we know about the refraction through a prism, let us find out how to calculate the refractive index of the prism. Here we have a prism and a light ray is incident on the surface PQ at point M. Here angle of incidence and angle of refraction are I1 and R1. The ray moves into the prism at side PQ and comes out of opposite side PR at point N and it's called the emergent ray. Here I2 is the angle of emergence. Angle between PQ and PR as we know is angle of prism. So here angle A is angle of prism. If we extend incident ray and emergent ray then they meet at a point say at point O and D is the angle of deviation. So let's find the angle of deviation. Angle D is the exterior angle of the triangle OMN and it is equal to sum of the two opposite internal angles of triangle. So angle D is equal to angle OMN plus angle ONM. Now I1 is equal to angle OMN plus R1 as they form a pair of vertically opposite angles. Thus angle OMN is equal to I1 minus R1. Similarly the other pair of vertically opposite angles are I2 and angle ONM plus R2. Thus angle ONM is equal to I2 minus R2. Angle D is equal to angle OMN plus angle ONM. Now putting the values of angle OMN and angle ONM we get angle D is equal to I1 minus R1 plus I2 minus R2. Rearranging we get angle D is equal to I1 plus I2 minus R1 plus R2. Now if we look at triangle PMN then here angle A plus angle PMN plus angle MNP is equal to 180 degree. Why? This is because the sum of interior angles of a triangle is equal to 180 degree. Now there is a normal on point M. So this angle is 90 degree. So angle PMN plus angle R1 will be equal to 90 degree. Thus angle PMN is equal to 90 minus R1. Same way angle MNP plus R2 will be equal to 90 degree. Thus we can say angle MNP is equal to 90 minus R2. By putting the values of angle PMN and angle MNP we get angle A plus 90 minus R1 plus 90 minus R2 is equal to 180 degrees. 180 gets cancelled from both the sides so we get angle A is equal to R1 plus R2. Now as angle A is equal to R1 plus R2, putting this value we get D is equal to I1 plus I2 minus A or we can say A plus D is equal to I1 plus I2. Now if the ray has minimum deviation then I1 is equal to I2 because in that case the ray passing through the prism is parallel to the base. So A plus D is equal to 2I1 or I1 is equal to A plus D by 2. Similarly A will become equal to 2R1. This is because as I1 is equal to I2 R1 becomes equal to R2. Thus we can say R1 is equal to 
a by 2. If we apply Snell's law at point M, then sine of I1 by sine of R1 is equal to N2 by N1. Here, N1 is the refractive index of first medium, that is of air, and it is equal to 1. And N2 is the refractive index of material of the prism. Let us call it N. So we get sine I1 is equal to N sine R1. Now we put the value of I1 and R1 in the equation and we get sine of half of A plus D is equal to N multiplied by sine of A by 2. Or we can say refractive index of the material of prism is sine of half of A plus D divided by sine of A by 2. Thus, we can find the refractive index of a prism using this formula. That's all for now. Bye-bye.